a lot of people ask me about this uh, membrane, why I had it underneath the bottom timbers, the footings. Now the reason is that here, all of this section, this is going to actually wrap up onto the walls. The um, same blue skin is going to go up the walls and onto the, the subfloor. So this entire basement will be fully encapsulated with waterproofing. Um, but outside of this, like from here, this is the outside walls of the, fount of the, uh, the actual basement. This part here is going to be fully buried. And it's just basically acting as a, as a pillar in the corners, front corners of the cabin. So it's true that from here over, that membrane is just going to hold water up against the timber because all water can still come down through here. Not much will because of the overhangs and this will be a deck and everything, but still be better if any moisture like snow melt can actually just pass through, percolate through this sand and get away from the bottom of this timber. So that's what I'm doing. I, I remembered that on the last um, corner over there, I didn't put any membrane under, but this section over there I did, so I need to pull it out. Everybody, welcome back to the new homestead. So this is the uh, <laughs> this what I'm eating here is the bear that I shot two days ago. Um, I've shared some of my bear hunting stories and, and videos on one of the channels in the past, and I've talked a lot about about bear, about uh, black bears in particular. That's all I have here in Ontario around here, and. Uh, you know you've seen me cook it a lot it's probably the meat that i cook more often than any actually and uh you know i've got it from various sources over the years um, including bears that have har harvested myself but also uh, friends that have given me uh, parts of their harvest but this is the first bear ever that i've had to shoot um, unwillingly essentially um, wasn't planning on on harvesting a bear this spring i much prefer to get a fall bear because they're larger um, it's colder for for processing it so i can take my time uh, butchering it with cooler temperatures and the biggest thing is that they have a lot more fat on on them and i use the fat as you see for a lot of things <coughs> actually got some right here from last year that i rendered um, so that's basically pure lard from from a bear. I use it for waterproofing. I use it like for leather. I use it for waterproofing wood tool handles. I use it as a face cream. I mix it with other ingredients like comfrey and aloe and things like that. Um, magnesium for sunscreen. And uh, I cook with it. That's probably the main, main use for it. And then the fur, of course, is... Um, they're quite thick and, and quite warm and the coats are much better in late fall than they are in the spring in fact this one the hide is not um, i'll use it but it's not that useful because right now uh, june 13th is when i shot it um the uh, they're basically they're shedding their their winter coat and and starting to grow a sh much shorter summer coat and there was just big clumps of hair actually that I could pull out of the hide as I was moving it around. So not ideal time to shoot one. But um, the reason I was forced to shoot it is this, this is the first real nuisance bear I've had to deal with in my lifetime. Um, and when I say nuisance, it was getting into a little bit of trouble around the workshop, which I could put up with, but um, when I'm not there, and when Callie's not there, when my family's not there, but I knew it was around. And then uh, we were at the workshop and it actually approached us. And uh, Callie was inside um, at the window and the bear came right up to the window and put its, its uh, paws up in the window and looked in and Callie barked and it wasn't uh, afraid at all. In fact, when I wa walked towards it, 
without a gun because this is before that happened I, I walked towards it and yelled at it trying to scare it away and it actually came towards me and huffed a couple of times like a guttural um, sort of a growl um, I've seen them do it lots of times in the past but typically to other bears or in places where um, I know I'm in a position where I you know I deserve to, to be confronted and bluffed and uh, this is just not one of those situations so f for me what I my what I was most nervous about was that either my family or Callie were, were uh, gonna get into trouble with this bear because um, like I said it showed absolutely no fear and it was more than happy to uh, get into trouble and then confront me and, and my family and Callie. Now fortunately I did have my shotgun nearby I typically do I do have a bear tag for spring season and, I, and turkey season just ended recently so I was still you know I still had a uh, my gear and stuff ready for those two seasons so i was able to get my uh, shotgun pretty quickly and dispatch the bear as it actually was approaching us again so um, it was necessary now the other reason i wouldn't have normally shot this bear it was young and these young bears tend to do that they uh, don't know the boundaries they're testing the boundaries and figuring out their place in the world so they they uh, aren't the most well behaved and they don't have sometimes in this case enough fear of humans now it's unusual for a bear in um, you know real wilderness setting black bear to to uh, no humans but this one seemed to have no fear so it's obviously been confront or had confrontations before I believe um, I'm not you know heartbroken by any means don't like taking an animal's life before it's ready or before I'm ready to um, but my hand was forced and I'm going to use the bear fully utilize it for uh, a little bit of lard not much fat on it at all um, meat of course it's what I'm eating right now and I'll find something to use at least part of the fur the uh, pelt uh, for and I'll keep the claws and the skull probably just uh, kind of put them in his trinkets or something in the new cabin anyway exciting week <laughs> that's uh that's a first for me, like I said. Now, as far as what I'm up to this week, and um, you know, lately, as I mentioned on the other channel, or maybe it was on this channel, that I'm not putting out as many videos because I'm tending to work on the uh, cooler days or just in the morning on the hotter days, and then getting out and either spending time with my family or just getting out on the water. And uh, this week is better. We got a lot of rain yesterday, actually, the last couple of days. So the plants are doing well, and it's cooler. So the greenhouse is not as hot and it's got better conditions for working so I'm gonna probably get that foundation of the cabin the basement fully finished this week and then uh, see what the weather uh, throws at me next week I do have to do a lot of milling coming up to uh, get all the floorboards for the main floor and uh, I'll probably I may as well get the uh, roof boards milled now too and get them stacked so they can start drawing out so uh, might be kind of shorter videos like this or just one video on this channel and a, a little bit shorter video on the main channel for a couple more weeks at least until things get sort of caught up all those little mundane things like the garden fence the uh, planting of the garden um, milling of the logs burning of the lo the uh, timbers for the underground base basement and the footings it's been taking a long time and I'm still not done so I have to do that maybe tomorrow morning too. Anyway, um, that's it. So if you're interested in following along at the uh, new homestead, 2021 playlist is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen if you click on that. And the most recent video will be in the top left hand corner of the screen. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you at the homestead next time. Take care.